So we are looking at the volume of a solution. We have said that volume of a solution, we measure it using a pipette, we can use a burette, we can use a beaker, and we can also use a measuring cylinder. Then the volume of a gas, we can measure it using a gas syringe. Okay, so here we have said volume of a solution, a pipette is used to measure a fixed volume accurately, a bullet is used to measure an accurate volume, a beaker is used to estimate the volume of a solution or a liquid, and a measuring cylinder is also used to estimate the volume. A measuring cylinder is more accurate than a beaker. Then if you want to measure the volume of a gas, we usually use a gas syringe. Okay. Now, since we know that we are using a gas syringe to measure the volume and all these other apparatus, we have to know what units are we going to be using for volume. So, the SI unit for volume is the meter cubed. But in chemistry, we usually use the centimeter cubed because the apparatus that we use, they can only measure small amounts of liquids. So, the SI unit is the meter cubed or cubic meter, then in chemistry we usually use centimeter cubed or we usually use liters or cubic decimeters. So the SI unit, the SI unit here for volume is the, the meter cubed, but in chemistry we usually use centimeter cubed, which are called also mules, or questions will be given in liters or in decimeter cubed. So liters or decimeter cubed. Now, one liter is equal to 1,000 centimeter cubed, or 1,000 mils. Then, one meter cubed is equal to 1,000 liters. In one liter is equal to one decimeter cubed. So here we are able to see that when you are given most questions that you'll be given, you'll be given in liters, which you have to change to centimeter cubed. And again, certain questions will be given in meter cubed, which you have to change to liters. So the questions under the more concept, they will ask you to calculate the volume in centimeter cubed or calculate the volume in meter cubed. So we can use these conversions to change to the actual unit which the question wants. So after knowing now that one liter is equal to 1,000 centimeter cubed. Any question that you are given, which will be in liters, will be able to change it to centimeter cubed. If the question that you, you are given is in centimeter cubed, you can easily change it to liters by just using this conversion that one liter is equal to 1,000 centimeter cubed. Okay, so after looking at uh, the, how we measure the volume of a gas, before we measure the volume of a gas, we have to collect it. So we're going to look at how to collect the gas. So the correction of a gas depends on two things. So correction of gases. So how do we collect this gas? The way we collect this gas depends on one, the solubility in water and also the density of the gas. So here, the way we collect the gas, the method that we're going to use to collect this gas depends on the solubility of the gas and the density of the gas. So, if a gas, there are methods that we're going to look at. We're going to look at the displacement. So this is called the downward displacement of water. Then we're going to look at just the downward displacement, downward displacement. So we've got the downward displacement of water. So in this one, the downward. Okay. Here, we're going to use water, and this one depends on the solubility of that gas in water. The downward displacement and the upward displacement depends on the density. So, if a gas that you're looking at is soluble, it means that you cannot use this method. If you want to use this method, it means you have to use it for a gas that is insoluble or slightly soluble in water, like oxygen, hydrogen gas, and carbon dioxide. So, you can use them for this method. So in this method, we're going to look at the way you collect the gas. It's simply like this. 
near where we've got our water and this is where the gas will be collected and this is where the, the gas is coming from. So this is the method that we're going to use if we want to get it, use the downward displacement of water for gases that are insoluble or slightly soluble. Then the upward displacement, so I've got the downward displacement and I've got the upward displacement. So this is where the gas is coming from, the gas is entering from. Okay. The first method depends on the solubility. The, the two methods depend on the density. Here is if the gas is heavier than air, it means that we're going to use it, this method. If the gas is lighter than air, we're going to use it, this method. So correction of a gas, we use either the downward displacement of water, the downward displacement or the upward displacement. If you know the solubility of a gas, and the gas is insoluble in water or it is slightly soluble, we're going to use it, the downward displacement of water. But if the gas is soluble, we can either use it, the downward displacement without water or the upward displacement. But again, for this two, we need to know the density of the gas. If a gas is heavier than air, we use the upward displacement. And if a gas is lighter than air, we're going to use it, the downward displacement. Okay, so after looking at how the gases are collected, that's when we can measure them. But before we measure these gases, some of these gases must be dried. And in order to dry these gases, we have got drying agents that we use. And some of the examples of these drying agents, we have sulfuric acid, which is concentrated sulfuric acid. We have concentrated sulfuric acid or calcium oxide to dry the gases. And um, in a, an example which I can give is when preparation of ammonia in the laboratory. After prepare ammonia, we usually use the calcium oxide in order to dry the gases. So today we have looked at measurements on our me measurements where we have looked at time, temperature, mass, and the volume. We have known the SI units that are going to use in chemistry, and we also known the method that we can use to collect gases and also we have seen how we are able to dry a gas by using concentrated sulfuric acid and calcium oxide. Thank you very much for this lesson.